I'd like to tell you a story now that involves the parents. It's about the process of proposing to Tamsin, which was very much a family affair. Firstly, after quite a few rums, I told Elaine the date I was going to propose. When it came to buying the ring, mum and dad did their best Lord of the Rings impression by keeping it secret and keeping it safe. For nearly six months, such was my fear that Tamsin would find it during a random sort of things in our house. And finally, Barry, who when I told him I was going to ask Tamsin to marry me, said, how long have you been together? Four years, I said. Barry's reply, it only took me three. <laughs> We've always lived in a place called Worksop. Thompson was considered a tomboy in her primary school days. Uh, when she got into her teens, she became more quiet and studious. So after passing her O1A levels, she went to Lincoln University to study law. She really enjoyed university life and this totally changed her personality into the outgoing person she is today. After university, she worked in Lincoln for a while, then moved to Leeds, working for the Halifax Billing Society. I believe Paul, who works in the banking sector, came into Tamsin's radar at a local get-together for people who worked in the financial sector. Hi right, guys, thank you for being here. Um, I wanted to do something this morning with just the, the nearest and dearest men in my life. We're going to share a, a very special bottle. This rum got lost 30 years. I brought it back from the Caribbean on the best holiday me and Tamsin have been on. We've all got a card. Please read it privately. Everybody ready? Cheers. 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 I first met Tamsin on a night out in Leeds for a mutual friend's birthday. It was at this time I coined the phrase, that is not the girl you want to take home on a Saturday night. That's the girl you want to wake up to on Sunday morning. It may be corny, but here we are a little over seven years or 370 Sunday mornings since then. Do you promise to care and love and cherish him? I do. Do you promise to give her honesty, trust and commitment and keep life as interesting as it is? I do. Do you promise to look after him till he's old? I will. Do you promise to be happy when she is happy and make her smile when she's sad? I do. And do you promise to remain his companion and be with him always? I will. Tamsin has also given me the most stressful day of my life so far, the day I proposed. <laughs> From hurrying me out of the room when I didn't have the ring, through to plenty of nearly moments where Tamsin just didn't stand still long enough for me to actually get down on one knee, at one point, I was upstaged by a group of cute looking ducks. <laughs> I did, however, finally get the job done, and thankfully, she said yes in a heartbeat. Tamsin, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow to love you. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side. I promise to give you the best of myself with all that I give. Paul, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow to love you. Let it be that I'll always be by your side. I promise to give you the best of myself with all that I have to give. I think we can all agree that Paul and Tamsin are perfect for each other. Paul, with his resolute decision making, I'm sure will guide you through what life has to offer and Tamsin, with her caring personality, will always be there to comfort Paul in his times of need when Leeds United fortunes eventually take a turn for the worse. <laughs> As with Leeds, you will go through it all together and it will have its ups and downs, but I'm certain you will stay with each other even after the world stops going round. I'm very proud of Tamsin. I knew from the first date the kind of woman that Tamsin was. She's unwavering, headstrong, a woman you can put down roots with. 
She has made her first house a home with her love of all things cosy, guinea pig decor included. When they both eventually came to visit us, we found Paul to be a friendly and talkative young man. Like her siblings, Tamsin decided that city life was more to her liking and never came back to workshop to live. Tamsin, I loved you the day I met you. You look absolutely beautiful today. I'm so happy to call you my wife. If you could again join me in a toast to the bride. <laughs>